the warm-up lap. Just time to tell you about a little statement that came out a few hours ago from Michelin, Pierre Dupasquet, the competition's director, putting out a three-page statement basically saying all of the FIA's plans for future regulations in Formula 1 from 2008 onwards are based upon a single tyre manufacturer in this sport. Here's the reasons why we believe this is completely the wrong thing for Formula 1. And my understanding, Martin, is that's paving the way for an announcement from the boss of Michelin next week in Belgium that they will pull out of Formula 1 voluntarily at the end of 2006. So quite big stirrings here in the paddock at Monza. Yes, I know there's a big drive to have one tyre manufacturer to cut costs and give a lot of control functions in other ways in the sport but you need competition it's, it's interesting you get changeable weather conditions and different tyre companies handle it and you get unexpected results I, I, I've seen Formula 1 very much with one tyre manufacturer and with multi uh, manufacturers and suppliers and I prefer, I prefer at least two of them in there it gives another dimension for me to a Grand Prix weekend well, certainly, you'll have your views on that. Let us know at the ITVF1.com website. 